Hello and welcome to another DaddyJamesFilms.webs.com video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Windows XP and this will be part 2. And now we are actually installing Windows. And after installing Windows we have we have one step uh, left called finalization or finalizing installation. Down here is they're going to tell you how to uh, well I'm sorry down here down there is where it's going to uh, approximately tell you how long uh, it's going to take to finish. Not a word of warning here. Uh, this is not always accurate. Now, the levels down here on the left, uh, it's giving you more detailed information on, uh, you know, what is going on right here. Uh, right now, it's installing devices. Yeah, uh, so right now, it's detecting the devices uh, on your system and now loading them on there. At this point, we need to reconfigure our region and language options. The default for this screen is for United States English. Keyboard location is set for I'm sorry, the keyboard location is set for United States. Now if this is appropriate for you, you can go ahead and click next. If not, you will go over there and hit the customize buttons and this screen right here will pop up. You'll be able to set up your language and location. Here's the language and then here's location. Then you can go to the language tab and change it to view or change the language and methods that you use to enter text. And then you can come to the advanced tab and do some changes there for any non unicorn programs you may be using. So, but we're going to stick to the defaults on this one so I went ahead and hit cancel. Now, uh, then we're going to hit next and here we're going to use the name of the person. But basically we're going to uh, you know, put whoever's going to be using the computer and the organization. Um, in this case, we'll just put a uh, Tom Morgan or something. Now, this area right here, you're going to uh, put a product key in there. Um, you should be able to find that on your Windows XP disk. It should have came with it. Uh, your, your computer won't, uh, your Windows won't work without the product key. So you have to have the product key. Unless, of course, you get an illegal version and, you know, end up installing the illegal version and might not ask you to you know to install a product key or something um, but you should be honest buy your buy an actual copy of Windows XP and uh, install it and use the product key okay in this screen right here you need to provide a name for the uh, computer you can type in any name you want especially if you're not connected to a network now however if the system is connected to a network you must pick a name that is unique this will be the NetBIOS name for the computer. And you can have two on the same network segment that has exactly the two, uh, same two names. So I just went ahead and named this one uh, Widgets. And then the next thing you want to do is go ahead and enter a password and then put it and confirm a password with it. And then we will select Next. Now we will need to configure the date and time settings. Up here, we will specify the date and time. Now, this field up here will check your BIOS clock. And if your BIOS clock is correct, you don't need to do any changes. If not, you will change it right here. Now, uh, you also need to change your time zone. Now, if you're at a different time zone than what it specifies in the time zone section, then you will need to pick a new time zone. In this case, I'm going to uh, put, put it on mountain time. And then have it, uh, then put a check mark right there where it says automatically adjust clock for daylight savings. Unless, of course, you live somewhere where they don't have daylight savings, then you will leave that unchecked. But for for this incident, uh, we do have daylight savings, so I'm gonna leave that checked. And then I'm gonna press next. At this point, uh, as you notice right here, we're installing the networks. In a few minutes, it's gonna ask us to provide some parameters for our network uh, connections. Now at this point we're prompted to configure our networking settings. Now we have two different options. We have typical settings and we have custom settings. If your computer is not connected to a network then you will not see this. I am connected to a network so therefore I uh, got this uh, one up right here. Now right here I got two options. I got the typical settings and I have the custom settings. If your computer, uh, if your network uses DHCP and you use a DHCP uh, server to dynamically assign IP addresses, subnet mask, default, gateway, DNS servers, settings to system when they first boot. 
then you want to use the typical setting. Now, if you don't want to use DHCP and you want to use uh, and you want to specify a hard IP address, a subnet mask, router address, and a DNS server address, then you can use the custom settings. But we're in a network that uses DHCP, so we're going to use uh, the typical set. Now you need to specify the domain or work group that the computer is going to be a, a member of. Now you have two different options. If you are installing this computer on a network, that does not have a domain controller and you need to use this option right here and specify the name of the work group you want to use. Now we can specify something as uh, my work group. If on the other hand there already is a domain on your work group then you can use the other one which is right here. And you want to make this computer a member of that domain. Select this option right here then enter in the name of the domain right here. What we're doing right here, we do not have a domain controller, so we're just going to uh, have it on my work group, and then we're going to click next. Our installation is almost complete. There's not that many things left. Pretty soon, we're going to have it up and running. Right now, it's registering components. Now it's saving the setups uh, settings, and it's almost ready to reboot the computer. And here we go. Windows XP has been installed. There you go. At this point, we can log in as the administrator with uh, the password that you uh, put in during the installation. Now, there's a couple of things that you need to do when you first uh, start up your Windows system. As you can see, right, right here, you see that it's uh, asking you to install a uh, antivirus. It says the antivirus software might not be installed. Um, so what you need to do as the very first thing is to install a uh, antivirus. Uh, then uh, after do after you do that, you're going to want to go ahead and, and um, uh, do your updates. You you'll need to go to uh, Microsoft.com or you can click on Start and then uh, go to Install uh, Updates. If you want a free one, there's one called uh, Threatfire. You can try that. Uh, AVG, Avast, those are just a couple of free ones that you can start, try. You can also try Komodo, they got an okay uh, antivirus. Uh, there's plenty of them out there that you don't have to pay for. But first thing you do, you get your antivirus, and then the second thing you want to do, you want to uh, go ahead and install all the updates for Windows. Uh, some of the reasons why you would uh, either install XP or reinstall XP is to uh, uh, if you're having problems with the computer, just not wanting to work, and you just want to do it in a clean install, this is how you would do it. Uh, or you're just now getting a brand new machine, or say you have like a Windows 2000 machine or something like that, and you want to upgrade to XP, this is how you do it. Just do a clean install. Well, that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. If you like my videos and you want to uh, support them, you can do so by subscribing or donating. If you want to subscribe and you're watching my video, you can click right here to subscribe. If you want to donate, click on the Miller Info section and click on the first link. If you're on my YouTube channel, you can click right here at the first link right there. Uh, and click right here if you want to subscribe. If you're not on YouTube and you want to donate, you can go to daddyjamesfilms.webs.com and then click on the links button. It'll take you to my links page. And on this page is a bunch of other uh, links to other softwares that you can try. Um, but you can go right here where it says please donate and it'll take you to my donate page. And you can click right here to donate. Hope you enjoy my tutorial and have a nice day.